Ja. はい、もしもし、ヤンです。ああ、岡田さん、今どこですか？私今上野駅にいるんです。ええ、今夜の新幹線で帰るんです。いろいろお世話になりまして。そんな、僕の方こそお世話になりました。でも、寂しいですね。ヤンさん新潟へは？そうですか。じゃあ遊びに来てください。山の中ですけど。本当に遊びに行ってもいいんですか？え、きっと。じゃあ気をつけて。ありがとうございます。ヤンさんもお元気で。はい。Did you manage to catch what was going on? The story started at the shopping arcade that Yan passes through every morning on his way to the station. He's made friends with some of the people there. They asked Yan to do them a favor, something to do with Beethoven's Ninth Symphony. Then Yan met his neighbor, Mrs. Hori, who works in a small shop at the station. After he arrived at the university, Yan and his friends came up with an original method for learning the German lyrics of the Daiku. Their method seems to have worked quite successfully, and everyone thanked Yan and his friends for their effort. Finally, when Yan came home, he got a phone call from Miss Okada, who was about to leave for her hometown. Well. That's basically what happened in today's episode. Today, we're going to concentrate on the scene at the shopping arcade. Watch again and try to guess what they're all talking about. Yan, さ、お願いがあるんですけど。なんでしょう。実はドイツ語の読み方がわからないんです。ドイツ語。ええ、これなんです。私たち大根を歌おうと思っているんです。Well, what was going on exactly? First, the woman who was waiting for Yan to pass by was Haru-chan from the fish shop. She asked if Yan would do them a favor. Then another older woman came running up to him and. Kind of implied what they wanted him to do, she said. This literally means we don't know how to read German, and in this case, we should interpret it as implying, "Please teach us how to read it." Yan seemed to be a little surprised, so then. They explained why they needed to study German. Watch the same scene again and see how they explain their reason. Well. How did you get on this time? When Yang replied, "Deutsch go, German," the woman showed him the musical score, saying, "Kore nan des, it's this." Then Haru-chan said, "Atashi tachi daiko utao to omotte irun des. Atashi tachi daiko utao to omotte irun des." This means we're thinking of singing Beethoven's Ninth Symphony. Haru-chan said this as an explanation of why they need Yan's help. Let's watch a bit further on and see another example of this kind of expression. Tomorrow, I'm going to sing a song. Oh, 
出ようと思ってるんです。出ようと思ってるんです。She said that they're thinking of taking part in a performance of Beethoven's Ninth. 歌おうと思っているんです。歌おうと思っているんです。出ようと思っているんです。出ようと思っているんです。We can see examples of a new verb form here: 歌おう and 出よう。Verbs in this new form express the concept of intending to do something. So, 歌おう means something like intend to sing, and 出よう means something like intend to take part in. If you combine this with と思っているんです、you can explain that you're thinking of doing or planning to do something in the future. We'll see how to make this new verb form later, so don't worry about it too much now. For the moment, let's just see some more examples of this pattern. あら、安藤さん。ジョギングですかええ、今度ホノルルマラソンに出ようと思ってるんですホノルルマラソンあら、小玉さん、うん、小玉さんもホノルルマラソンにあいやいや、少し痩せようと思ってるんです Both Ando-san and Kodama-san have taken up jogging, but they seem to have different reasons for doing so. Did you get what they were? Ando-san started jogging because. Honolulu Marathon に出ようと思っているんです Honolulu Marathon に出ようと思っているんです He's thinking of taking part in the Honolulu Marathon. On the other hand, Kodama-san started to jog because. 少し痩せようと思っているんです。少し痩せようと思っているんです。He's intending to lose some weight. ダイクを歌おうと思っているんです。歌おうと思っているんです。ホノルルマラソンに出ようと思っているんです。出ようと思っているんです。少し痩せようと思っているんです。痩せようと思っているんです。As we saw before, today's expression contains a new verb form. Some examples we heard were 歌おう、出よう、and 痩せよう。歌おう comes from 歌う to sing. To change this into the new form, you need to drop the final u and replace it with o. A similar change is seen with yomo, nomo, and kao. On the other hand, de yo comes from deru to take part in, and yase yo comes from yaseru to lose weight. To make the new form in these cases, you need to drop the final ru and replace it with yo. Similar changes are seen with miyo, tabeyo, and hajimeyo. These new forms are sometimes called volitional forms. There's a list of them in your textbook along with some more explanations. And remember that you can use them in this pattern to say. That you're thinking of doing something in the future. <laughs> <laughs> 